Okay, um, brilliant. I'm delighted again to be joined with another player, Joe Loughlin. Um, Welcome. Hello, how are you? All right. I'm great, thank you. Um, again, delighted to announce that you're, you're committed to being with the Robins for another season. Um, yeah, yeah. Coming into, I believe it's your third season now. Oh, before, start the, well, how do we word it? Half a season, yeah, no. and then two full seasons, and a, yeah. well, your third full season starting. Yeah, third full season, yeah, fourth year being at the club. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm delighted to sign. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I think the, the whole team, as we've said um, before, we just want to get the job done. We've, last two seasons we've been in in for the title and and that's what we're aiming for again this year um hopefully no interruptions and we can we can get the job done this year and, and get back up up to the league we were previously yeah so when when you were looking at the um the, the season that we had last year and the sort of breakaway um we know that you, your your background um you've come from sort of a more sort of professional academy upbringing which we'll touch on in a minute was there any kind of um, thoughts in there to say, oh, I'm going to look at my options, or was it just no? I, I know what I'm doing. I've had a good time at Froome so far. Um, no, yeah, I think I, I think I just want to get the job done. Really, like we, we've we've all we're quite a tight knit group now at Froome, and um, Bruzy made me a, a good offer and um, kind of set set up for me to stay really and try and uh, with the team we've already got, we hopefully keep most of the players and and we can. To stick together again and, and go and win the league this season. So, yeah, that Froome was always the number one for me. And um, after Greasy made it shown uh, that he wanted to keep me, uh, it made it pretty easy for me. Yeah. So, as you say, it's the getting the job done. It was, mm. You joined at a point, period where obviously the team was struggling, um, joining as an 18 year old. Um, how, how did that sort of change from what you were used to to sort of come into that environment? How did it feel? Yeah, well, with the team I was at, with the the academy I was at before, we we um, won most of the time. To be honest with you, we're we're quite a good team, and, and I was I was used to to winning all the time, and and obviously it was my first real stint in men's football, so it was so it was a lot different for me. Um, sort of broke into the team right at the end of the season um, when we were already looking like we we could get relegated, and we had a sort of run which looked like I might be able to escape. But um, it, it was a very different environment to anything I've been in before, sort of. Obviously, it's a lot, a lot of people's livelihoods, like jobs and, and stuff, and people that have been at the club for, for ages, like Basher, and it meant a lot to them. And obviously, me just coming in, um, I didn't really understand it as much, never really been in the situation, but um, it, it didn't take long, like, seeing how much it meant to everyone. It... it it kind of took a bit of a bit of adjusting to um, the men's football and, and stuff like that. But it was disappointing that we went down in the end, but it was a like a big learning curve and a lot uh, gave me a lot of experience for sort of the, the seasons I've had since then. So, yeah. So I mentioned this on the, the chat we had with um, James Kerry in that whole kind of the fans at the ground, like when they're sort of used to sort of non-league or the, what we would say is kind of the old non-league sort of, but mm. when, when you get someone that's coming into the team at 18, 19, you'll always have that, oh, I wonder mm. what, is, are they going to sort of be able to sort of handle it or anything like that? But you just kind of took to it like that was water. And I think people are so excited when they see your name on the team sheet and the fact that they know that you're, gonna, you're tough in the tackle, you, the effort the commitment that you put in and just the attacking ability as well. It just, uh, it just brings that excitement and it's so good to see. Yeah. Well, well, like I heard Tilly speaking um, in the interview did with him and he said at the start, I sort of struggled a bit um, just start sort of finding my bearings and getting used to the, it's a lot different going from an academy to sort of non-league football, a lot more, a lot tougher, a lot more physical, but, um, but yeah, I sort of adjusted pretty quickly and like, I knew I was good enough to play at the level. So um the more I sort of played, the more experience I got. The the team welcomed me in so so well and sort of helped me settle. And as soon as that happened, it sort of let me express myself more. And I love attacking. Attacking is what I love doing the most. Obviously, I left back, left wing back. I've got I've got to do the defending side as well. But um, when I get that opportunity to to go forward and, and show what I can do, that's what I enjoy the most. So yeah. So you mentioned your time there, at Exeter. Um, I believe did you join at sort of under tens in Exeter? Uh, how was it yeah. like going through that academy process? Yeah, no, I joined in the 10s. Um, I lived in Plymouth, so that was about 45 minutes away. So I did a lot of community. My dad took me up and down. I, I got him to thank really for all of that. Um, I loved it, to be fair. Like, looking back at it, there's times, especially under 18s, when it was hard and there was um, everyone fighting for sort of professional contracts. There's only two, three that go around. So it, get, it gets quite hard and it gets, like, not as enjoyable as, as it is sometimes um, at the end because 
is down to business. But looking back at it now, like I love the time there. It, it, it made me learn so much. The coaches I have were brilliant. The, the people I met, I met friends for life there. And I look back at it with fond memories, really. And, and it's made me like the player I am today. Without that, I, I wouldn't be at the level I am now. So, um, no, yeah, I, I loved every minute of it. I've got no regrets. So one of the best things I know about that is that when you were there, obviously the last sort of year, 2018, you actually featured on Football Manager. So um, obviously there was people out there that would have been selecting you and you could be their little hero that went on to have their career and going through with the Exeter ranks. Maybe. Um, but my big question is, did you see it? Did you play it? Did you, did you pick yourself? <laughs> yeah, well, that, my dad actually bought it for me. Um, I think I first went in there in the 2017 one and then the 2018 one. But um, yeah, my dad actually bought it for me. And and um, yeah, so I started playing in it, signed myself for, for West Ham and my support and stuff like that and tried to make myself a left winger, which didn't work. But, um, but no, I still talk about it with my mates to this day. Like one of my mates was in it who I live with. He's got a better throw in than De Gea and always goes on about that. But it's quite funny, like looking at the stats compared to compared to the top players and seeing yourself in a game like that. Like you kind of dream of being in like a FIFA or a football manager when you're kids. So it's um it's funny seeing it now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We'll have to try and get the FIFA ultimate team card going or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> Who knows? One day. If we get a good enough cup run, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting this team of the week. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so one, I know when you first joined, I think everyone was kind of really excited by the, the pace that you brought as well. And uh, I know uh, we interviewed you um, back, was it probably two years ago now, um, for the match day programme. And you kind of mentioned mm. there was a bit of a kind of race off between yourself, mm. uh, Rex and Kane. Uh, is that still the same? Are you, do you still do you feel fancy your chances in that foot race for those two guys? Yeah, I reckon I'm quicker now over after the lockdown worked on myself a little bit I can uh, I give him one for the money Kane is quick it's quicker than I thought he was to be fair so um <laughs> but yeah you've got your back you got to back yourself else, else you never win so until we race you never know you never know <laughs> never know I'd say I think even with the the sort of the last season being curtailed is still difficult but that season before you, you chipped in with at least sort of three or four goals then in mm. that season is that something that you, you think that's nice to have from your position or is it something that you're looking to work on as well yeah, I want more, to be honest with you. I want more more goal contributions. That's something that I'm really looking at this year. Um, I want more assists, more goals um, in my game, to be honest. I feel like I can. There's, there's, I get myself into the positions. And I used to, I used to, like I mentioned, like for uni, I play I play up front for, for school. I used to play higher up. When I went to Exeter, I played left wing initially. So I, I know I can score goals. It's just sort of finding finding my form in front of goal before. And if I can start chipping in with goals, then, I, then it will help the team a lot. So, um so I, I provide assists, but if I can add goals to that as well, it'd be it'd be like really good. So yeah, definitely. Well, I'd say when we when we talked to Jono, he was saying that he wants to score more tap-ins. So I'm I'm pretty sure yeah. you down the left, you'll be able to provide a lot of those. I hope um, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Joe, I think it's been absolutely brilliant, and we're so really pleased to sort of have you here for at least another season. Um, I think we're all really excited with the games coming up, with the fixtures and the friendlies being announced now. Is there is there a friendly that stands out from the ones we've announced for you, or is it just bring them all on? Uh, I think the Bath City game will be good. Obviously, they're they're the the best team sort of in in and around our area. So, um, well, obviously, other than the Bristol teams, but um, they're sort of the best non-league team around our area. So it'd be good to compare ourselves against them, and that's ultimately where we want to be as a club. So, um, so it'd be good to see where where we stand against them, and it's early on, so hopefully we can get fans in for that and and it'd be a good atmosphere. But um, I'm looking forward to all of them, to be honest. I'm just looking forward to getting back into it. We've got Yeovil again. That'll be a good game. Gave him a good game last year. And I'm looking forward to the, the first league game, to be honest, to, to getting that done and, and trying, to, trying to go out and win the league. So I'm just excited to get back, get back going, get back playing football, definitely. You've mentioned before that obviously football is often about just getting the three points, getting the job done, mm. m moving on. But... Um, the, se the season before last, um, I think what the football you guys were playing, was it just kind of back to what you kind of remember then from those sort of ex last couple of years at Exeter playing that way? Yeah, no, I think after after we got relegated, we we brought in some brilliant players, like you mentioned, Jono. Jono came in, Smudge, Smudge can play, like he's brilliant on the ball. And, and some of the players we brought in were, we got Rex who comes from the academy and Alex and everyone knows how to sort of play on the ball. And we probably had a better team the, the season after we got relegated. Um, and and the some of the football we were playing were brilliant was was brilliant. Sorry, um, we got the ball on the floor, moving it about, and on our day we we could have beaten anyone. I think so. Um, 
ho- hopefully we can we can bring that again this year, and I'm sure we will. And um, and excite the fans again for another season. Yeah, definitely. That's brilliant. Thanks, Joe, and we'll catch up with you soon. No problem. Thanks, Scott. Cheers.